All right, so I guess I'll have to repeat <laughs> the intro because I wasn't recording <laughs> sound. All right, yeah, well, I was saying uh, this is going to be like the first critique Friday I do. I don't know if I'll do it again. We'll see how it goes. It's the first time I try this. Um, if you guys want me to review or critique your your pieces, you can join the Discord and post on the in the Goblin Workshop. Going to post the link in chat and uh, just post on the under the Goblin Workshop uh, channel, and I'll pick uh, I'll pick pictures arbitrarily and uh, give you critiques on them. Do do a little bit of an overpaint. If you miss the critique, I will be saving this for the Twitch video on demand, and I will I will be uploading it to YouTube as well. So you can look at it at your own leisure. And I was saying I have uh, several paintings here from Bandrick, who was the one who posted the most. And I have this one from Sanaki and this one from Farmville. But yeah, as we go forward, maybe more people will will upload their stuff or not. It's fine either way. So with this guy, I was just uh, looking at it from uh, black and white, and I was saying that uh, the the thing that strikes me the most is like the the value uh, structure construction. I don't know how to call it. The value management. It's kind of all over the place, and uh, the hand definitely needs some work. So let's see. Going to use the round, regular round. And start doing a little bit of an overpaint, and uh, hopefully, I can think of what I'm doing so I can explain it. But the first thing is that, like, the, f the nose, let me just show you what I'm doing in my head. I'm basically just trying to figure out what, if maybe white looks more clearly. Can you see that? All right, like that. This is what, what I'm thinking, like, about the shape, right? So that's what I'm trying to do with the light. I'm going to have it like bend over the nose and as it bends away from the fire, it'll taper off into shadow. At the moment, it's a little too harsh. Uh, oh, thanks for the host, uh, wait, Kane Eats Abe. Will I create our stick figures at the moment? That's fine. <laughs> stick figures is where we all start. All right. So I'm thinking like you have a, a torch, 
right in front of him, and yet you have like a weird light source coming from behind, which I don't think you need that. I'm gonna darken this side so that you have like a main a main light source coming from the top right top left I'm sorry it is it is quite unclear what uh, where he's supposed to be like what the background is it a cave or or a passage it's it looks like it's like a tunnel hey Kane thank you for hosting me dude All right. these are really dark And then you can have your like rim light coming from behind and helping out to see the form. And also having like a darker background helps to pop out that uh, the brightness behind the brightness hitting his back, the light hitting his back. But you have it, you need to have it like everywhere where, where the light would hit. That includes the arm. He does have kind of a weird anatomy, but now I realize that his shoulder is here and the other shoulder is there, which, I mean, it's a monstrous creature, which you can have like his weird, but it feels like it was not intentional to have that. Then you have like this finger very small and then this one a little larger and then this one much larger and then this one is the biggest one like the the small finger the little finger seems to be the largest one which again could be part of his monstrous nature but it feels like it was not intentional and his thumb is like the tiniest one <laughs> so i'm guessing that's a mistake If you wanted him to be hunched, like a hunchback, then I think it wouldn't go this low on the back. It would have more of a bulgy. But yeah, I think a lot of the mistakes on, on the figure is because you didn't do like a... You didn't do a... A construction first you didn't do these where you do like have the basic figure planned out first maybe you did and and when you started adding clothes you lost track of where where everything was supposed to be either way the, the anatomy went haywire. At least that's what it feels to me that happened. Right. 
Uh, could I get one? Sure. You can post uh, the image on Discord. And I'll check it out. I want to change uh, the flame here. It's way too, it's way too big of a flame for a torch. And it's way too yellow, I think. So I'm going to incorporate, add more orange. a little bit I would say get some uh, reference of actual torches and what do they look like can fix his hand by making first the shape we should have I'm fusing which is something I often do with hands it's like I fuse the all the fingers into a shape in this case it's something like this and then I start working in like carving in the fingers individually but again, like this is one of the things that having a reference of your own hand will help you a lot. I'm not using reference just because this pose of the hand is fairly, it's one I do fairly often. So I don't need that much, but even then I would use uh, a little bit of a reference to make it better, you know, to improve it in general. Just take a super fast break. We're going to skip it.
No, actually, let me just stand up and stretch. We should not skip our breaks. Yes, in the Goblin Workshop. Yeah, so I was thinking I should probably start working this on steps. Although it's a little difficult because everything is rendered out, everything has values, so... Maybe... Well, let me see if I can do that. Like, I need to cut this shoulder and bring it ever so slightly lower somewhere around there so it feels like he's slanting a little bit on his side so that his arm is making his shoulders are making this line which matches a little bit with his eyes you sure you wanna You want to do it the other way around because it makes it more interesting if, if like the head is tilting this way the shoulders and then the hips but for this one so i can do it quickly i'll just lower the shoulders so that they make more they match more anatomically based on everything else The nose is its one of those things that I think you need to, to look at more uh, pictures, illustrations and stuff. When I started doing goblins myself, I, I had no idea how to exaggerate. So I started looking at, uh, at pictures of uh, like Paul Moner. Or, uh, yeah, I think he's the main guy I look at when I'm thinking of goblins and monstrous creatures. That is Paul for people watching this. Bonner. I hope I'm spelling that right. And also like old people. Old people have the most 
lively like face expressions which you can borrow elements of it so the nose is usually the way I would do it it's a little less th this almost looks like a beak and not so much a nose because it's too pointy here And this, this curve of the nostril is also way too much. Needs to be a little less, less of a circle and more of a, I don't know how to describe it. I, I guess the best thing you could do is look at actual noses. Try and try and exaggerate the shape. The other hand, I don't want to change the face you had too much. I want to stray away from it too much. Uh, can you hold off? Yeah, I'll do yours last if you want. But like I said, if you guys miss out on the critique, I am I am saving this on the video on demand library on Twitch, and I will be uploading it on uh, YouTube, so you can check it out later if you miss it. Uh, kind of looks like the eyes are sticking out of the skull. Yeah, that's that bulging eyes is fine though. Like you can have that. You can have the eyes kind of bulging out of the skull but again even then you have to be wary of uh, of how they still match in the skull or how they align to the skull So right now that like both eyes seem to be like in the same plane. How do I explain that? Um, the, the eyes you're looking at them as if you're looking at it from from straight on, but the head is turned a little bit like to the side. I don't know if that makes sense. So you have these uh, this kind of perspective overlapping that perspective and it makes it look really weird uh, so basically you need to repaint this eye and have it be like matching the perspective like that It's a little difficult because everything is rendered out, so it's hard to make adjustments. At least, like, I don't have practice doing this, so I don't know the best way to do it, but hopefully this works. This is more or less what I mean. Also, like... I hope you can tell what I'm trying to do here. But I'm I'm trying to change this eye so it matches the perspective of his head, of his face. All right. Uh, 
Um, uh, I forgot you were doing this. Did you already critique mine? If you even picked it, uh, no, this is the first one. Where is yours? I didn't see yours. Um, uh, let me check real quick. Is it a recent one or an older one? Oh, I can't, right, I saw yours, now I remember. I can't do yours because there's nudity in it. I can't show that on Twitch. Now I remember why I skipped it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I can show uh, nudity. Yeah, because I get banned. <laughs> I will lose my exciting show on its first outing. Right. Where was I? Right, yeah, the eyes. So... So yeah, the nostril as uh, in proportion to the rest of the nose feels like it's it was way too small and too round. And there's too much too much dark here. It's better if you keep like these super dark areas to the ver to, until the very end, so that you can you can have something to work on. Otherwise, it's like it becomes really difficult to to maneuver when when you have so many like dark areas of pure not pure black. It's not pure black, but it's really close. Makes it really difficult to maneuver. Let me just bring back some of it here to bring out the shape. So the, the mouth that you chose first is fairly unnatural. I guess it could be, but I feel like it mo it looks more like it should be something like that. Because the perfect smiley, even though it's creepy and that's probably what you were going for, and it does look very creepy. I I'll try to preserve that because I do like the expression you had. I, I do like the the creepiness of it. It's like he's way too happy for no reason, no apparent reason. So that's when you're thinking something is terribly wrong here. And then you need some shadow from the nose, right? On the top. Maybe it should go like this, the shadow. I would say something that might help you is to is to try and and start simple before you start adding in the the complication of the structure of his face and his head. It's like you have way too many creases and uh, wrinkles and all that stuff, and uh, I I would suggest you build up to those uh, before you. 
before you start. Like get a basic flat face first, and then you start adding in the the wrinkles where where they feel appropriate. Like I feel you try to render everything too soon without having like a solid structure of what the face is where the bone the underlying skull and the bone goes so i'm giving him a botox over all over the place first so that i can i can better manage what the actual thing looks like Uh, but, but wait, but I do have this thing that uh, warns the viewer that it's mature though. Does that not counter it? No, you still cannot show nudity even with the mature thing. They were going to be, they, they, they were going to review their term, terms of service and maybe make it... Uh, allow it in in artistic endeavors but uh not not yet at least not that i know of yeah goblin plastic surgery for the win i don't know why this guy gives me the impression of uh what was the name stink from Game of Thrones, Reek, Reek, I remember now. Well, I think as long as you keep the nipples invisible, it's fine. And obviously the that we we or the JJ must not be visible. You should be alright. But yeah, I think they're they're going to review it so that artists we artists can do all the lewd stuff that we want. That we desperately crave for. I like I like what what you were going for with the with the eyes. It's just the perspective was kind of weird. But but yeah, the idea was is pretty cool. All right. There's a little bit of a uh, the hunchback as well. Which is one of the one of the cool things, but I, again, like I guess it's something that you wanna you wanna hold off on is that when you're doing like monstrous creatures, you can just make it up, and uh, you can usually like get away with it, and it's easy to hide mistakes and stuff, which is cool, but also like you have to be aware that you're doing it otherwise you'll you'll do it on your normal figures also and that's not so good it can become a crutch as they say Maku, if you want to stream nudity, I suggest Picarto, the, the only site I know that allows it, and it's a place for art. Yep, P 
Picardo allows you to do pretty much anything. Well, that sucks, because my drawings of characters start with new fear, even if it's not detailed, right? Maybe the arm holding the torch should be less visible, more hidden behind the torso, a bit like you did with the eye, right? Uh, plastic surgery, the surgeon, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. And now I can start, like, now that I have sort of a general idea of what the head should look like, I can start uh, adding in, like, the little wrinkles and stuff. Now, another thing uh, that I just realized is, like, your, your lighting is way too yellow. And the torch would give give off a f much more orange light. This is something that I need to do back and forth because there, I I am guessing he's green, and that does does affect the specific shade of orange. And he does look green, uh, so yeah, it's it's a little more orange, but you were close, very close. Now I'm thinking like. This eye is way too high. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit. I think I, I, I slimmed him down. I gave him a lipo section. I think your version was a little more puffy. So let's let's do that. It was a puffy goblin. Alright. What I do not get is how K Pike is allowed to stream body paint with only wearing pasties, but we can't draw any playful characters. <laughs> I don't know who that is, K Pike. I'm gonna write that down. As long as you wear pasties to the local shopping mall, Twitch to TOS will allow it. <laughs> Discrimination. What are pasties? Are they like boxers or? I'm not familiar with the underwear. I'm guessing it's underwear. I don't even know if it's underwear. I'm assuming. All right, so back in back to a construction, it's like the ear. 
Maybe it's because of the changes I did though. Uh, the ear feels too small, right? Like he's a goblin. He should have like a big ass ear, right? Or maybe even one of those like uh, like drooping drooping ears. Because again, he's a little, he looks a little overweight. Alright, so like Maku was saying, like his arm here, his arm, even before my edits, like here, it looks like his arm is going on top of his chest when the chest should be like going on top of it, right? So I'm gonna do that now, I'm going to... to carve into the arm. Actually, this would be in the shadow. to adjust the hood a little bit simplify your folds like make two or three large folds and then you can again like in the in the face you can start breaking into those but start with like a base base of two or three large ones Try not to make them too symmetrical in either. Or get reference. <laughs> As always, reference will help you. But if you're just making it up, you, a, a good place to start is like two or three big folds and then you start breaking into those.
happening for the for the ear. Let's take a quick break. Uh, pastes are like band-aids to just cover your nipple. Oh, okay. I know what those are. I use them all the time. As long as you wear pa pasties to look at something. Uh, never mind. Discrimination. How much of a stream with just pasties? <laughs> One million dollars. It is over 9,000. All right. Again, like, like, let's try and keep the fingers consistent because you had like You had them going smaller and smaller. And now I'm just uh, making them around the same size. Right. This is what it looked like. Now this is a work in progress. Maybe you you were meaning to fix that. So I'm I'm just going with what I had the the last reported uh, progress shot. I still feel this size too high. I'm not bulging enough anymore.
can they be aus dollars <laughs> one million australian dollars how much is that though I don't I'm trying not to go too quiet too often but I run out of things to say I'm just uh, basically restructuring the face and adding in some wrinkles here and there Darkening, do, doing uh, selective uh, darkening of some small specific areas. Uh, no, I can't play songs because otherwise YouTube will mute the. YouTube and Twitch will mute this the thing and. Uh, the whole point is like I'm I'm explaining what I'm doing so. There will be no music. At least I'm trying. I'm I'm figuring this out as much as. as as I'm trying to do a critique, trying to figure out the, the best way to do it. 
more orange for the strip. Pepson, thank you for the host. All right, so I'm adding again more orange to the to the highlights. Not too much though. to the cloth. And to the hand. This part should be in the shadow. This bit in the light. I don't know what kind of clothing uh, this is supposed to be.
but it, it 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 was way too curved I think so I'm gonna straighten it up make it more of a gentle curve around his waist or his per perceived waist to try and sharpen some of the detail by using a very small brush a very tiny brush especially around the eyes this is where we can go pure white just a dot right there I like that come over input implied suggested by the little strands of air Let's look at another one. I have several from Van Drake. Oops. This is one. <laughs> really cool. So I guess uh, this one was kind of uh, inspired by the portraits by Dave Raposa. But again, um, similar issues. The structure was not, the, there is no underlying construction like how is how does this work you have to figure this out first because then you'll get the the shapes where they should be Let's duplicate, transform. Let's see if I can pull it off with this only.
let's turn that off. You have a green light, a, a green rim light against uh, a green main light. I think it's not the best choice. But I think the knot on his uh, headband is would be behind his his head, so you don't actually get to see it. But you can you can see the the flaps, I guess. I don't know what to call this. The 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 two. X is uh, bits of fabric, I don't know. I think it'd be better if you keep it desaturated on the on the reflected light. I'm sorry, on the rim light, not reflected light. Turtles have a weird, a weird head. Hmm. His chin should be around here. in a half shell
the texture also feels like a little randomly placed on top of it. It's not following the form. Uh, it's like a bunch of dots that you have. But they need to follow, like, if, if the form is doing that, they would be, like, the most larger, I guess, and then they start fading, going smaller and smaller as they, as they twist around the shape. And then the, the half shell is a little out of place and I think it should be more orangey. Have a little more red to it. Stepped out to get pizza and come back to see the goblin mutated to a turtle. <laughs> yeah. It's been an extensive uh, critique. No, this is another one. This is what the, the goblin ended up with. Going to add a little bit of uh, a hint of yellow to the lighter parts, the underbelly of, uh, of the turtle. But it's time for a quick break. We'll be right back. After a commercial break.
So turtles do have kind of a weird anatomy. Uh, I mean the the teenage mutant. The teenage mutant ones have kind of a mutant anatomy. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah. Is that too much? Could be a little too much. Nah, I don't think so. I think the eyes might be a little too small. But again, like the 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 biggest weakness on, on this one is the construction. You gotta start working on, on like your grid what do you call it? Grid uh wireframes. So you can have a a better idea of what the forms are. Like how does this stuff wrap around? It's not perfect, but you get the idea. Let's get another one. Uh, this one's also from Bandrake, but I'll do someone else. Uh, Sanaki. This one is really nice. Mm. There's a little bit of an issue with proportions. Mm. On her posture. And I'll ignore the background for the time being. The perspective on the background also is kind of unclear. Right, you have uh, several angles here, like several lines uh, suggesting different perspective angles. Then you have these on that. So let's blur it out for now because the background is not that relevant for this one. It's just generic uh, space sci-fi background. Let's focus on our figure. All right, so this is pretty good. That has a nice balance. I guess the background should be lighter. She's a fairly dark figure, so you might want to have you might want to have her standing against a lighter background. Let's use uh, this. Just 
just adding like random brush strokes to keep it textured so I, there's a little bit of noise to it and changing brush size also and hue a little bit every every few brush strokes just uh, keep changing it constantly changing uh, hue, saturation ever so lightly and brush size just so you have a variety of uh, a variety of shape and form and stuff Oh, it's still fairly dark. Whoop. That's a little better. So I mentioned first the proportion issue. I think her head might be too large. Let's try that first. Do you still accept more pictures to critique? I could need, I could need your help, please. Sure. Uh, just uh, post it on the workshop on the Discord channel. She's right there. I'll check it out. Alright, so that helped. Now another thing is like I feel her arms feel too short. Here's a an interesting thing though. Because it keeps tricking my brain. It's that this part looks good. On its own. But then the legs. There's something wrong with the legs. So I'm just going to stretch her upwards. Or should it be downwards? Alright. I'm trying to figure out. On the one hand, it feels like one of her elbows is lower than the other. Like, you have this elbow much higher, and then this elbow much lower. And yet the tilt of the, of the shoulders is a little bit... Uh, well, it's fairly horizontal. So that should not happen, especially if she's bending this arm the if anything the elbow would both go a little bit higher but based on the pose I think it should be just level level with the other elbow so that's a fairly quick fix I think I hope by just moving this stuff up like so Continue the the zipper. Was it the whole way through? Yes, it was kind of whole. It was kind of the whole way through. All right. I think we should measure with head units here. Yeah, that that helps. Unless you're going for like alien proportions, which might be the case. I don't know. This this character feels kind of alien. Yeah, 
even even when doing like alien proportions, you can still use the head as a as a guideline for the for the proportions. Just different amounts of heads, right? I really like the subtle gradient of the light going from from the blue to the darker here. I think it uh, at least on the on the thumbnail it has a very photorealistic look. Almost feels like photo bashed like you put, you place the a fashion model and then painted the head on top. But it, I mean, it's not. It's clearly not photo bashed, so that's kind of a compliment. Like you, you totally nailed the 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 transition from light to dark on the on the dress. That's what I'm saying. So good job. It is very dark though. I think these are supposed to be leather pants. So I'm gonna do a somewhat brightish highlight. I think you uh, did uh, the hair a little bit too complex. You went in and did every little strand of highlight. I don't think you need to do that. And this cast shadow is also really helping the, the effect. That's very nice. The cast shadow under the arm. The hands feel a little too short, also too small. I think your fingers should go all the way down here. But again, like if this is an alien creature, maybe that's what you were going for. And I'm adding a the, the the light side of her face is way too flat, so I'm adding a little bit of a of a gra gradient to it. Gradient. Gradient. Balls on the cloth. And I mean from the from the bottom up of her of her lower jaw, like the bottom of her jaw is going to be a little bit darker. 
but it's very subtle it's just so it's not so flat and her nose doesn't need to be that it's a little over uh, over constructed so I'm see I'm, I'm uh, softening it a little bit getting rid of some of those lines you don't need you don't need them all right but yeah it very overall it's a very nice uh, illustration so far doing pretty good job let's see who's next didn't have a ton to say about this one it's looking pretty pretty nice maybe raise her shoulders a little bit I guess I'm guessing this arm is going outwards, so I would increase the, the light. Move this hand a little bit. Your previous streams are saved on your channel, right? Yes, because I have so to go and can't stay until later when you see my picture. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I'll be I'll be posting it on YouTube. Just a reminder, guys, if you miss the critique, I will post it on YouTube and it will be saved on the video on demand here on Twitch. So you can check it out later in case you missed it. Her legs were a little thin as well, I think. I still feel her arms are too short. You see, like... It feels like her pelvis would be somewhere around here. A 
and her the wrist should align with should be around here this line should align with the crotch so let me stretch her arms a little bit somewhere over there I think that looks better. Who's next? Um, Farmville. So this one's very nice. Uh, I saw some comments on the Discord that uh, the character was a little too red. Mm. Let me just add some of the next ones. This one's after Farmville. And someone else posted. Let me just get back to some of the comments on this image. It's all the way up. Oh, there we go. Uh, the skin is super red, right? In my phone and on my computer, it is. I hate how the skin got so saturated. Is it bad? Uh, okay, so it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't even, I would say, it doesn't even look bad. But it could look more consistent with the environment since everything around her, it's like a night scene. So you might want to have it more of a bluish kind of color on the skin. But it's nice, okay? It, it looks nice. Um... Uh, Let's try it with uh with an overlay. And I'm just gonna pick a blatant blue color, and then we can uh, 
lower the opacity. So I actually I want to do it over the entire thing. There we go. And then we can lower it a little bit. A lot. Not that much. And then we can duplicate that. And, uh, well, no, let's keep that one. All right, so that, that makes it look a little bit more consistent overall. It's a little more bluish. Um, I think her legs are a little too long on the on the thigh part. So let's ground these. But overall, this is a very nice uh, illustration. I don't know if you're in the chat. I don't think you are. Her legs, it's just that her knees feel like, compared, like the distance between the, the hips and the knee to the shoulder feels a little short on the, on the thigh. And, and the sheep, the goat, what is it? A sheep, yeah. It's uh, it feels like it's a little like like it's doing this. Let me show you. Like it's doing these weird crunching at the at the top, which I think is too much. I mean, I I I think like what you're going for is that without the without the. What do you call it? The wool. It's it's a fairly skinny animal. Could it could be a fairly skinny animal, but it's I, I think it's the way he's resting on her legs makes him way too skinny. Just a quick break, guys. Hey, Mas. Uh, alcoholic sheep herder, purple, blue skin. Uh, colgarás este video una vez finalizado para que podamos verlo entero. Sí, Jordis, lo voy a subir a YouTube y lo mantengo en los videos 
de Twitch. Nada más que Twitch los va borrando cada cierto tiempo. Pero en YouTube va a estar para toda la eternidad del infinito. Alright. Uh, where was I? Yeah. So, yeah, the ship is like super crunched. Let me... I'm just going to extend her knees because they are too low, I feel. It's not, this isn't gonna work very well. And then I'm going to make her calf. Is it the calf? Make this part a little less. Because the warp tool messed it up. Like that, the shape you have is is good. It's just the knees are too short. So I'm just trying to pull them up. But the warp tool messes messes up the other stuff, which was already correct. So I'm just trying and fix that. And then. What you can do is grab this part of the ship and let it overlap on top of the... arm, like that, just a little bit. There's like a black line here on her arm. All right. And have the wool like cut into her arm a little bit. So that it feels like she is resting her arm on top of it rather than just having it, it, it looks like it's uh, like the fur is perfectly uh, flat around her arm. It, it's weird because it's supposed to be fluffy. Yeah, I think the entire animal needs to go higher than that. Like... I'm gonna duplicate this. Then I'm gonna grab this guy. Like the entire lamb should be a little higher. Her arm, her elbow should be lower. So now the, the, the sheep has some entrails, which is always good. You always want to have some entrails. Now we 
I can adjust her legs. And all this is so that the, the lamb feels more like three dimensional. It's kind of tricky. I, I would need to see a, a picture of someone with a lamp on their lap. Because I think I don't know. I think it would be smaller. Like it would fit more feels this lamb is fairly large is what I'm saying it's really large it's a big lamb More sheep bulk, right? And just maybe this thing is too large, but that doesn't that, that it doesn't look wrong to me. But I I was just thinking like, it looks too large and heavy. Maybe it should be smaller. Like so. You know, just make it a little smaller. What? Why is it? Oh, tricked me for a second. That was color picking the wrong color. All right. So that's my critique. Farmville. Everything else looks really nice. I like the palm trees. I like that little town in the distance. The stars, the sky, everything is very nice. She stands out very well from the from the background. This is a very solid, very solid illustration. Uh, it's a little square though, so maybe crunch it a little bit more like that. But let me first grab this part of the sky, which I really like, move it down somewhere around there, crop it there, and then
select this part. Delete that. And there you go. Something like that. Just fix the cropping a little bit. And that's Farmville. All right. Now this one is. Who's this? Who's is this one? This is from Kane Eats Abe. All right. All right. For this one, there's a little bit that's still uh, you know, in work in progress. I think her, his or her, the angels chest is is popping out way too much and this uh, the lighting is way too overexposed so let's duplicate that and let's start by bringing it down like that layer mask I want to paint off some of this super harsh light. Then get some color on that. stuff in the fabric or maybe keep it like let's look at it black and white first the original one The guy on the floor looks very looks very nice. The face looks very nice. Uh, her chest is popping out a little bit too much, and the wings are very stylized. I guess you can make them work, but if you were going for more realistic. Uh, bird-like wings this look like furry wings uh, the lighting is way too overblown overexposed uh, the contrast is super strong Like it, it's it's both overexposed and underexposed. I I don't know if that makes sense. Like the darks go really dark and the light goes really light. And I get the sense that you're trying to make it look like it's really like a, there's a really bright light hitting the angel. But uh, you can you can achieve that in several ways. You can make the the overall image a little bit darker, and then you don't have to be so bright on the highlight for it to look glowy. This looks very reminiscent of a traditional. 
classic paintings. I don't know if you were looking at those while painting these. Those will definitely help if you're looking at those. Uh... Yeah, it's it's her anatomy in general that's a little bit. Too much, too warped. Let me grab her head. It feels like her head should be here. Alright, and that looks more natural for the for the head attaching to the, the rest of her body. Or his body, I don't know if it's male or female. Mm, I think that's the sunbeams are too strong also. But I don't know how to fix that quickly. Okay, I guess I can just do that. And then the wings are supposed to be white, I'm guessing, so they would be a lot brighter. Especially with so, so much lights hitting it. White is, is very... Uh, Inherently bright, I guess, is how you could. It's the best way I can describe it. It's like you you really need a cast shadow or a very dark environment to to turn white stuff into dark. In, into a, a very dark range of value. So white wings are usually fairly bright, even in the shadow. And like I would I would have the, the white of the wings be brighter than the background, so I would darken this bit. I think it's better if we do this one in black and white first. Maybe you could have a little bit of brightness over here at the very edge, but not too much. 
and then we can have the the wings be the the lightest thing in the image Just hinting. I'm gonna do every feather. But yeah, you you wanna for the wings, you're gonna wanna look at some uh, reference. Assuming you want like real dove, uh, dove-like or bird-like uh, wings. Just want to get rid of all the dark, all the blacks in the wings. As you can go with a stylized wing, just because you have some some flowing shapes here that I think you should keep. They work, so you can have that the wing bend. I guess in a strange in a strange way, but that that requires you ignore the structure on on wings. which I guess you can do if you really feel it will improve the, the composition the feathers at the at the edge of the wings are usually the longest ones See what you had before. And then this is too dark as well. It's just I was seeing that it would probably cover up the, the figure you have here. The way I was doing the, the wings.
And we don't want that, we don't want to cover up that dude. I think as with the, the ones from Bandrake, I think that the biggest weakness here would be the structure. The construction of, of your figures and uh, the armor they're wearing. Like, how is it wrapping around the figure, you know? And the folds on the cloth here also like they're kind of a little bit strange, which folds are are hard, it takes a lot of practice. But like I always say, like pick two or three folds to start with, and then start breaking, breaking up those. So I'm gonna simplify your your fabric here into exactly that just one two maybe three three main folds and then from there we can we can start adding adding folds and smaller smaller shapes into the into the figure but it's time for a quick break Get back And some of it goes over the shoulder pad.
which uh, has kind of a random shape. So I'm just going to change it. So it will be something like it'll be something that goes round around the shoulder. This is too dark. Her face. The shadow on her face is way too strong. Just gonna simplify this into two folds for the time being. can really push these wings so that it outlines her her head makes her head pop out And this kind of reminds me of the Warhammer 40k kind style of illustration, which is pretty cool. With these uh, super heroic figures with tiny heads. I don't know if that's what you were going for. But if it is, that's pretty cool. If it's not, that's cool too.
like the dark siders uh, kind of characters design. Yeah, it's once you're done with it, I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Let's look at it in color. So this is gold armor, I'm guessing. It's a little bit too too yellow. Once I have a, a general shape for uh, the fabric, I can start cutting into it with more folds and stuff.
getting my brain is getting tired so th the next one and that'll be that'll be it for today Something I do when I'm painting gold uh, armor is that I keep the shadows fairly warm. I'm using a dark brown for this one. Um, fairly saturated. And then as I go brighter and brighter, I move towards the yellow. Now I'm just uh, bringing out the blue on the fabric. And as I go brighter, I move towards the teal. No, not the teal, the aqua. Aqua blue. Except like, I'm also trying, in the back of my head, I'm thinking like, how bright does the blue go? I don't think it goes that bright. At least not, unless it's like satin or a, or one of those like super shiny fabrics can go almost to white pretty much. Because as you go as you go brighter and brighter, it gets increasingly less saturated. Increasingly less saturated is that a. Is that a wrong thing to say? Progressively less saturated, that's better. Gets progressively less saturated. And then the mid-tone is the most saturated. And then as you go darker and darker, It's it's supposed at least at least as far as I knew, it was supposed to go less saturated as you go darker as well. But I've seen painters actually crank up the saturation, so there's that. So I don't know anymore. That's what I'm saying. I guess like with everything it depends, right? Like and I can really do spend hours and hours just playing around with fabric. It's one of my favorite things. 
Let's go to paint. But you get the idea. Hopefully you get. Hopefully I was kind of clear on what I was trying to do. Kind of made sense, hopefully. Alright. Moving on to the last one. This one. Alright. Bye. Whose one was this? Uh, Sip Nopes. The head isn't done. This is a lighting concept. So the question is, how would you change the lighting setup? Like on the character or the background, all that stuff. Anatomy isn't that important right now. I have a clean line art saved. All right. So the question is, how would you change the lighting setup? Uh, well, you have a, a you have a light hitting from the bottom, right, and the light. From behind, to the right, so I think there would be some more light here. I think it's pretty solid what you have here. I don't. If you have like uh, something with the right anatomy elsewhere, the lighting on on its own, the light doesn't doesn't seem to be a problem. You have like. clear figure the values are nicely balanced I think yeah I think this is a fairly solid but maybe this is too dark And you do have a tangent with the background here. With the door. I'm guessing this is a door. I think this, uh, like, maybe it's kind of awkward how she's on the edge of the door. Like, maybe you want to have it go all the extend beyond the camera's edge. Maybe you want to have some light on the floor here, right from the... It, it's hard to tell what's going on in the background. I don't even know if this is supposed to be a door. Maybe it's just a, a, a flashlight or something. But if it is a door into outside, into the outside, then maybe you want to have some light on the floor. And you mentioned the anatomy is not important. Right now I have a clean liner. So I'm guessing you mean you have on your you you fix the anatomy on the liner. Right, 
Okay, you have bounce like here. I guess you would have a little bit also on the back of the sword. And the blade itself wouldn't be that dark. But uh, yeah, this, this is pretty solid, uh, Sipnops. I want to see where you take it. And uh, hopefully you can you can clarify what the background is supposed to be. It looks like uh, some sort of architecture. I don't know what the the right side here is is supposed to be. It's like the edge of something, and then there's like some light, I guess, coming out and hitting the cape. I want to overboard with the light here. So, the original, the only change, made very few changes. And you could even go as far as the entire head, so that you get a clear, a clearer silhouette. How does that look? could work but this one I also like this one this one works too but yeah let's see where you take it since you only want to critique on the lighting the lighting looks so far the lighting looks like it's going somewhere cool and so far the values look like they're under control It's just I don't know if there should, if this part is supposed to be the background as well, because then you would have a little bit of light here. But uh, yeah, like I said, I I need to know what the background is supposed to be. All right, so I hope that helps you guys. I hope you found it useful. And uh, that'll be a wrap for today's critique stream. I'm gonna go have some food. And then, oh, hello, Elixi. Hello, Jay Smitty. I'll go get uh, some food and I'll see you guys in a little while. I don't know if you if you posted yours with a with an edit. Nope. All right. Never mind. All right, well, I, I can give you uh, just looking at it without actually showing it, Maku. But uh, your painting looks really nice. I was looking at it uh, before. Mm, what kind of critique could I give you? Because so far it looks nice. Uh,
I'm not sure what I would change. Yeah, let me let me uh think about it and I might be able to get back to you with some suggestions but it's pretty solid I removed the top right thing as my lecturer said it was distracting so yeah small tweaks like that mm. yeah right right off the bat I can tell you like nothing pops out to me like oh this is blatantly wrong or anything looks pretty solid uh, but yeah all right so thanks everyone for watching I hope you guys found it useful even if it wasn't your your painting that I was uh, critiquing and if you guys would like me to to check your your paintings you can join the discord and post uh, on the goblin workshop I will be picking them arbitrarily because there's not enough usually for randomly uh, but yeah I just uh, post it there and next Friday I'll try and do this again and uh, yeah I'll see you guys after food thanks for watching everyone have a great day oh and just a reminder this is going to be saved on the VOD on Twitch the video on demand and I'll be posting it on YouTube so be sure to check out the YouTube channel if you're interested in looking at it in case you missed your critique. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching again. Have a great day.